Hello, hello, everybody. Guys, it's Carrie. Carrie T says, lighting sucks. I know, it's windy out. Uh, don't have my ring light in this spot. I went to 50% off at Unique Thrift Store in Long Island last minute because I was watching some other girls' videos. Her name is Michelle. Ooh. But Michelle loves, loves, loves blazers. And I like watched all her videos and I had to come get blazers. I also lost a little bit of weight from having that stomach surgery, so that's my excuse. So I went shopping for myself and of course I got for everybody, including for my Poshmark closet. So I wanted to get through, I got like six bags, but some one is like a coat, some are like shoes, but I wanted to get through it. Rosie wants to sit with me, they missed me. You guys, so you know we rescued another puppy and she's quite a bit stronger and bigger than Rosie and Brownie, who's Chihuahua and have a Wawa, and they're like five pounds. She's like 10 pounds and she's pure muscle. And when she plays with them, you have to watch her because she doesn't mean to, but she like jumps on them, like she'll bite their neck, but like not viciously, just playing. So I didn't want to leave her alone with them um, just in case because she especially she didn't do this for the longest time and just started the last few days to bother my oldest dog and he's 16 he doesn't want to be bothered and she's just playing but um so i left her in my room because she loves it in my room all her toys are there she likes sleeping on my bed and i brought the other two downstairs well well she didn't like it she tore my rug up she ate the bottom of my door and then now that I thought about it, I don't know if she's ever been alone. And so now I feel so bad. She was like traumatized. <sighs> Thank God my daughter came home after work and a doctor's appointment in between. And now I'm home with her. And um, she's looking at me right now. Oh, I feel so bad. Anyway, so they miss me. Rosie's sitting next to me. Let me get through this. How's everyone doing? If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel before you leave. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below, hit the bell button so you can see me. I post something seven days a week. I'm committed to you for seven days a week. So please just join my channel, join my Carrie T family. And um, let's get into my 50% off thrift haul. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the prices. This was $4, it's just a concert t-shirt. The Tim McGraw and Faith Hill Soda to Soul Tour 2007. Faith Hill, Tim McGraw. You know, there's a lot of country fans out there. And it's a sweatshirt, so I got it. It's a really soft, that soft kind of sweatshirt. I got another sweatshirt. This one was $5. Can you see what this is? Do you know what that is? I sell a lot of this on Depop. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, $5. This Diamond Supply Company size is it? I tell you that size. Hold on. Cotton hoodie sweatshirt. Size small. The other sweatshirt was a size as small as low, I think. Let me just double check in case one of you want it. If you don't see anything listed on my Poshmark, which is below, you guys send me a message. It says size large. Okay. Fitted large, medium large, small can even wear. Um, just send me a message, I sell all the time. So these are for my son, they were 450, he likes jogger pants. So this is why I wanna do the haul because I do get quite a bit of stuff for me and my family and I wanted to take it out and wash everything. So I got three blazers because she has blazers and I had to have blazers. This one was 650. It's from Talbot. It's a red blazer with some gold buttons. Uh, 14 petite. I like it oversized, my little blazers, so I can wear a sweater or a shirt or something underneath. I wear a size 12 for reference. Um, Evan Pacone, made small, 650. This one's a size 16, and it's actually really fitted, so it's more like a 12, but it's a pink. Blazer made really well. In love with this blazer. Wear it any time of year. My last blazer is a poopy brown blazer. I never thought I'd get a poopy brown blazer. 
This one is a 14 petite as well. It was $5. It's just this long blazer. And this one's from Laura Scott. I loved it. I like the material. So I got three blazers. Okay. You guys, this stuff's all in front of me. I'm sorry. Puppy wants to sit with me. Okay. I got a brown Kangol hat. Three dollars, beige. I don't want to call it brown. Should I just do a video like this? Okay, let's see. Ew! I didn't wash it. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I'm taking that off my head. This I have to clean up, but I love this brand. Look at this cute little crossbody from Henry Bendel. Yes, you guys, I throw this in the wash when it's material. Like I do with all my bags, and it comes out fine. Henry Bendel's not open anymore. They closed around two years ago. And it's just really a cute crossbody bag. Just a few strings. Yeah, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Little crossbody bag. I got three bags. It's one, two. This is um, a Vera Pelle bag. They're all leather. They're made in Italy. Back pocket. Lots of gum wrappers. <laughs> Zipper. Just has one little thread. This is brown. You open it up. This is a full leather bag. Crossbody bag. There's no wear. It's a few scratches. No big deal. I love this small leather. Um, and this was $4. Henry Bendel was $4. And then this last one was $4. And this is a big weenie. Common tag loves these bags. So, I have a few. I have to list everything. If you see anything you want, that's the inside is yellow. These are perfect if you travel, if you just don't travel, travel your kids to uh, soccer practice. You guys, it's so windy here in New York. I hope my packages aren't blown away. I left them for the mailman to pick up today, which I really do have to go to the store. Oh, look, it even has a thing for your pen. I mean, the post office, because there's a package there for me. They sent me an email. And then inside is all of that. This is really nice too. Again, throw them in the wash, clean. There's nothing wrong with her at all, at all. No dirt, no loose tags, nothing. But I'll clean her anyway. These three I'm gonna put back in here. Stay with me, please. Okay. Okay. So let's do some, I feel some shoes on top of this. Oh. I know, it's such a mess today. Just bear with me, because you know you want to see what I got. Have you ever seen these kind of Crocs? These were $10. Where's the other one? But they have like leather on them. Yeah, that's leather. Leather men's Crocs. How cool are these? Never seen one like these. I love them. What size are we? Size 12. Men's size 12. I did, I paid $10 for these puppies. Can you believe it? I just never saw them before. And then I got some leather Uggs. These are like men's too. I need to get the wrinkles out. If I, I might just sell them like that. You know, I was told all I would do to get these wrinkles out is you put a damp cloth over it and you take an iron and it should get the wrinkles out. I also can stuff them. They're men's. These are dirty too. They should be around a size 12 too. Yeah, size 12. They had to go in the wash. They were $4. Men's Uggs. Very nice. I guess women can wear them if they want, but they're men's. You know, this is the store I have an obsession with. Um, pajamas, vintage pajamas and lingerie. And this always reminds me of the old Italian ladies or the older ladies making their sauce. And it's like brand new. It was three fifty size extra large fine fashions. You know, 
it's a house dress. And I sell these a lot. It's a floral house dress. I think, I don't think it was ever worn. Especially on Depop, I sell a lot of that kind of stuff. Next, I got a vintage nightgown from Papillion by Paula Carbone. And this was $2 for your size extra small. Holy smokes, look how beautiful this is. Look at that in the front. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the lace at the bottom. It's just, just so beautiful. If you're going on a honeymoon, I think it's just fab. I think you should buy it for me. There's more somewhere. Must have got another bag. I got a long duster. It's so long, I have to get to the bottom. From Monroe in Maine. It's acrylic, nylon, viscose, wool, and angora, size extra large. I paid $7.50. I loved it. It's like Southwest style, and it's really long. It's like maxi length. I might keep it. I might sell it. If you want it, ask me. Maybe I'll sell it to you. Now, I found two pairs. I'm not sure if these are men's or not. They were in the men. I returned one on my way out because I saw the bottom had too much wear. I paid $3.50. These are size 28 from Joie. They're like a brown denim. Oh, maybe they're supposed to be like that because these are two. I'm such an idiot. I should have just bought them. The other ones were like black denim color. They're button up. The same exact pair of pants. I should have bought them. I don't know why they were in men's. It's Joie's women's. Um, they have side pockets. Joie jeans. Love them. Size 28. I got two concert shirts. This was $2 from Disturbed. 2017, I think, or 16. I paid $2. It's on the Jildan. It says size large. I think my husband might want this, so putting this aside. I got an Ariana Grande concert shirt, and this was $1.50. On a Jill, no, a jersey shirt, in size small. The Honeymoon Tour 2015. Ariana, Ariana. Okay. These are for my son. If he wants them, if he doesn't, they'll be up. They're Brooklyn Cloth Company. The jogger, size medium. Look a little small. Um, men's sweatpants. They were $5. They're like red and black. Joggers. Side zip pockets. Elastic waist. They're like a knit. They're made like, for, like a sweater. Got them for my son. I don't know if he'll wear that color, but he likes he likes joggers when he's home relaxing. Oh, these are so nice. I got some Fila, Fila size large sweatpants, men's sweatpants. They were three fifty, and they're like that nylon. I don't usually get this because you see what happens. It gets a little wear. It's like the only spot of wear, but they're joggers, Fila joggers. They tighter at the ankle and they got the spell out down the both sides they got two side pockets elastic waist but there's no wear in the crotch or anywhere else it's just that one spot but it's usually why i don't buy that material because that material gets like gets like that but for that price and has a spell out on it someone will want it they won't care that it has a little spot like that you can't see it Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this bit. I got some kids' Uggs, black Uggs. They're in great condition. Let's see, they were $5. They're a size, classic Ugg, size five. So if you're a woman and you're size five, you got some black Uggs. Guys, I throw it all in the wash. I didn't tell you, you'd never know. You just think they're brand new. They're 
there's definitely some things I don't. But there's definitely some things I do. I got these for my son. They're brand new, pretty much brand new Converse All Stars, and they have the leather laces. They're red. They got a little dirt. Maybe the person more than once. I mean, it really, I don't even think so. Look at the bottoms. So those are for him. And I couldn't help it. I don't usually buy kids shoes. I actually had a whole bunch and I put them back. But you guys, look at these baby Nike Hirachis. Look, they got gold. They're baby Nike Hirachis for five bucks. Seriously? Hirachis. I didn't know they made them that small. Wait, wait, wait. I got this, the brother, that's the sister pair. Hold on, let me get the brother pair. Where are you? The little Jordans. Holy shit. Look. Oh my God, I'm cursing. That's how cute they were. Uh, $6.50. I paid $6.50 for baby Jordans. Oh my God, let me tell you the size. My niece is having a baby. My friend's having a baby. 9C. Holy crap. And they're Velcro. So easy to put on your little baby. Um, the Hirachis look a little bigger, right? Or maybe about the same. 9C. They're both 9C. And if you have twins, a boy and a girl, uh, uh, uh. Okay, you guys, I did get one of the pair of baby shoes. I put a whole bunch of them back. I don't know where the other one is, but look at the little high top Converse. I know. I had to. Boys and girls can wear them. They're size five. So cute. I got myself a coat. It's just a long leather brown coat. I don't want to take it out. And these were $4. They had the camo one of these. They had bigger size. I put them all back because I don't really sell baby shoes. So this is my coat. It's a long, long. I paid $15. It's the most I paid for a coat. And it has some faux fur around the collar. Let me just put this in here. This is my bag. My bag, my bag. Talking about my bag, my bag. Oh my God, if I was monetized, would I get demonetized for changing words to a song? I got coats going in my closet. I know, it's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I know I'm being silly today, you guys. I just had a great day. Feeling a little better, you guys. This is so silly, but guess what? I ate like 10 crackers yesterday. It sounds like nothing. They didn't bother me at all. Not at all, not in the slightest. I think I gained weight back from eating 10 crackers, but I ate 10 crackers. It doesn't sound like anything, but to me it's a big deal because I haven't been able to get anything down. Okay, for $2, I got this Adana size large pajamas, vintage style pajamas. Yes, that's for me, unless you want it. I love vintage pajamas. I wear them every night because, you know, I get them hot flashes and I love these light pajamas. For $4, I got this Amanda Stewart Intimates. Look at this. It's like my favorite kind. They're so comfortable to sleep in. Look at all the embroidery, the V-neck, the details. This is long and silky. What size are we? Size large. It was made in Sears. You know, I'll sell any of this if you want it. Because I like to share here. I think this is another Adana. No, it's Amanda Stewart. This is size medium. $4. Now again, I'm not sure this one was ever worn. Look at the little ruffles at the bottom and the floral print, right? I'll sell this if you want it. I sure will. You'll love it. These sell for me really well. You remember like the old cooks you'd see on like Channel 13 PBS or, oh my God, what was her name? The Italian chef, I used to love her, but also reminds me of my husband's grandmother, my grandmother, like back then they all wore these. I sell these, these sell for me, and this one's in excellent condition. They said it's a vintage, and it says 3X, but it's not 3X, and it's from Van Dow, a cotton and poly, and it's like, I don't know, like that house smock, like, and you're in the kitchen cooking or cleaning. I sell these, and this is like a snap, 
and it has a pearlized snaps all the way down the front. This one doesn't look ever worn. I paid $2 for it. It's probably more like a 1X. So if anyone wants that, love, 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 love. Okay, what else we got? Oh, we got some more jammies, more jammies. Holy crap, these are so beautiful. So these were $4, vintage from Grant, size large. Look at this, OMG. This was scandalous back in the 60s. In the 50s, 40s, I don't know. Look at the embroidery, 70s, I don't know. And it's, again, maxi length. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Whoever wants, let Carrie know. I have a lot listed. In fact, I have to go find, I sold two of them. Of course, I didn't inventory the two I sold. So I have to go look through my whole bag of vintage pajamas. Most of them are inventoried, but of course the two I sold was not. Okay, so, okay, I got another, oh, I thought I got two, three, I got four. Oh no, this is I'm selling for $5 from 11Z's from Anthropology. This is a US size six. Look at the inside why it's open. It's lined and it's, um, I don't have the buttons. It does, hold on. It has one button. I found an 11Z's um, blazer last time I was there and it was like a purple brocade. And I put it back and I was really mad at myself. Viscose, nylon, the lining is poly. 66170, so yes, it's from Anthro. This is a floral, it's like light champagne and black velvet. Isn't this beautiful? It has the three buttons that are covered. Blazer. You can wear this with jeans. You can wear it with leggings and high boots. You can wear this with a silk dress, a skirt. I mean, you can wear that with anything. Okay, so this is a good find. This was half off. So $350 from Escada, size 40. Um, made in Italy. I'm just trying to see what this is made out of. They're like wool pants, like stretchy pants. Tag, this is the only part of it that's worn is the tag. And I'm not, I don't have my glasses, what's in it? Um, so these are like a size 10, size eight or 10. Look at these pants. They're like wide leg and they're like sweater knit material, that material, I forget what it's called. They're a little heavy. But they're from Escada. If that one tag wasn't worn, I wouldn't know these were ever worn at all. They're beautiful, there's no pulls, there's nothing at all wrong with them. Okay, I'm really picky on my free people, but this was a beautiful piece. Let me button it so you can get the full effect. Uh, for reference, it's a size small, but it's a little oversized, I paid $5. And I actually leave a lot of free people now. Okay, of course I buttoned it the wrong way. Bear with me, girls and boys. I shouldn't say that because this video is not for kids, men and women and all alike. Okay. I even thought about keeping this because it's oversized enough for me. It just needs a little sweater shave. But look at this sweater. Isn't it beautiful? It has balloon arms and it has design there. It has the same design in the front. It's like military style almost. This is a sweater, girls, men and women. <laughs> and it has a little pull in the back and it's like a little peplum. And what is she made out of? This is so beautiful. It's one of the prettiest free people things I found out a long time. 99% wool, 1% other fibers. Oh, guess what? This is an anthropology piece. I mean, it looks like an anthropology piece. Anthro free people. Stunning. Size small. Stunning, stunning, stunning. 
This is for me, and I got it on style. It's from a brand I never heard of. Avic Les Files. Um, made in the USA. It was $3. I just wanted some regular tops. I don't have many. I have like oversized. I have a lot of sweatshirts, some button ups. I just wanted some plain old tops, but it's like thinner too because I get really hot now. But look at the sleeves on this. And look at the bag of the sleeves. How cool is that? It's like accordion style. And it's just a plain gray oversized shirt. Did you guys ever hear of this brand? I would have gotten it. I didn't care what it was. I got it because I liked it. I liked it. It's another one from J. Crew I got for myself. Um, it was four dollars. J. Crew size large. If still, if you guys like any of it, I'll sell it. Just I thought this would be nice under the blazers I'm getting. It has like a little ruffle in the front. It's beige. Oh, has button sleeves. What's it made out of? It's very comfy. It's that little bit of stretch to it that I like. And it's thinner, so I don't get too hot. But anyway, if you guys like it too, I would sell it. And I'm very particular on what I get with J. Crew, but I did get that for me. Okay, I got another pajamas. This is all silk. Um, it's from Valerie Stevens, pure silk size, large, and I paid $3.50. This can be worn as a dress with like combat boots. It can be worn as pajamas. In fact, you can wear it as pajamas, get up, put combat boots on, a little denim jacket, a leather jacket, and you're out the door. So there's the front, it's V-neck in the front and the back, it's a longer V. So you get that sexy back. Look how beautiful this is. It's midi length, it's a little bit of a fit and flare. And that's the material, it's like a champagne color. Isn't that beautiful? Again, if you want anything, let me know. I went shopping for me and I came home with everything. And they know me. Again, they don't let the cards out, but I always get so much that they always send some with me. So I always bring money to, to tip them. And the guy was asking how my channel was, how my sales were, how my kids were in California, and how my son was doing home. And like, he remembered everything. So if you're out there watching my channel, thank you again. We'll see you soon. He's just so, he remembered everything. So I don't always get this anymore, but from Fabletics, uh, it was $3.00. And I know, right? It looks a little plain in the front. It's like a melon color. Cantaloupe melon, to be exact. But look at the back. It's open. How cool is that? Right? I loved it. Fabletics is having a big sale now. I think their leggings are two for 24 or something. Who's that? Kate Hudson started it. I love it. It's a beautiful shirt. So I got it for $3. Not sure if my daughter wants it. I'm gonna keep that aside. But if you want it for sale, so I found two of these, the exact same ones, okay? I didn't get both and I'll tell you why. But this is the heavier North Face, the fleece jackets, it's black fleece. It says the North Face on the front. It also says the North Face on the back. Um, it is full zip. It has a two zip pocket to the front and it's hooded and it's the heavier one. Um, you know, it has the cinched waist. Uh, this one was, they're both this, one was a size small. I got the size large and not the small. Okay, this was $10. The other one, they had more $30, so it would have been $15. I know, am I being really cheap now? I'll pay $10, but not $15. I should have gotten it, because my somewhat award, he can't wear a large. So I got North Face jacket, and check this out. It has like the pocket like the secret stash pocket. Like, so if you wanna hide something, you don't want someone to see. The zips go both ways. And now I'm thinking of it, I really should have, because a lot of times these have a lot of wear. Neither one of them did. Definitely needs to be washed, because I always say, whatever they spray at this thrift store, smells like spices to me. It's very clean. I don't particularly care for the smell. And sometimes they get the stuff out the door so quickly that it doesn't smell. This has that smell. It's clean. Just smells a little 
like that smell. So I'm gonna put that aside. What you do? Okay, so the last two are shoes and yeah. Sorry for the top of my head. And by the way, I am getting my hair cut and colored. So you won't have to look at this mess anymore. It just really is, if I tell you, hard for me to do that because it takes all day and my back hurts. I, I filmed twice about my autoimmune disease. I just don't want to feel like a complainer. I will, I will post them one day, I promise. Oh, I see a little bit of something here. But these resale so much for $4. This will come off. I got from the North Face. North Face sneakers. They were in the women's size seven and a half. They're my size anyway. They're really lightweight. The only wear is they both have, I guess, where your foot is right here. But that can be glued down so easily. And the reason I got these is, oh my God, you guys, the resale on these is so expensive. They're in amazing condition besides right there on both of them. On the one side, I mean, amazing, amazing condition. Blue, and if no one wants them, I'll keep them because as you know, if you don't, I'll tell you again, I collect sneakers. These resale over $60. I've seen some like over $100. I couldn't believe it when I looked them up. I'm like, maybe I'll add North Face to my sneaker collection. Um, I've never ever seen North Face sneakers, have you? Resale is so high. Seven and a half women's. Okay. These were so cute. I picked them up on style, looked them up, and they have like a really good resale value. Um, oh, I think the other shoes got them dirty. They weren't dirty. Look how beautiful these pink ballerina shoes are. All leather. Um, I don't think they were ever worn. They're from Staccato, size 37 and a half. They're all rubber. Again, my size, but actually in, in ballet flats, I'll wear an eight. I go up half a size. Oh, I see a little bit of rub right there. I should really keep these separate. Stunning. You guys, they were 350 all leather, over $60 resale on eBay I saw, but I would have gotten them either way because they feel amazing. And for 350 all leather ballet shoes, pink, they're forever shoes. Yes, someone will enjoy them. Interesting, I got a few, I got three different pairs of boots that have a higher resale. I wasn't sure. I knew when I picked them up, they were something good. I put them in my cart and then I looked later and I was actually surprised. Let me just get a few out so I don't have to keep bending down. And then there's a brand in here I'll tell you about that I don't normally get anymore because the resale is not great. Okay, so these are boots. Where's the other one? They're from Magnum. They're women's like black, like work boot, hiking boot, snow boot, whatever you want. So this is leather, this is canvas, and this is leather. So that's, that's suede, canvas, regular leather. It has a little bit of a heel. These are a women's size seven and a half. Okay. Magnum Technology, woman's last, lightweight, breathable upper, 3D2, women's insole, slip oil resistant, woman's outsole. Okay, these are called nothing. They just have. Okay, so I was like, I knew these were good, and they only were $4. These resale, like 75 bucks. I'm gonna clean them up. Absolutely beautiful. So, if you're a woman who needs some hiking, work boots, you know, if you work outside, you work in a factory, you, I don't know, whatever, they're beautiful. These are another one. I have men's of these from Cabela's in green, Hunter Green, they're going up for sale. And then I saw these in black. How cool are these? They're like sneaker boots. They're canvas and they're from Palladium. And then they have a rubber bottom and a rubber toe. Again, okay, palladium in the front, palladium in the back. So you can roll them down like this. A lot of people do that. So you can have that showing or you can keep them up. Um, these are a women's size seven. And I looked these up too, you guys. I paid $4 
And guess what? The resale is over $50, $60 too on these. And it's a good size. How cute are these? You can wear these with a skirt. You can wear with jeans. I mean, they're just like forever shoes too. Forever shoes. Love them. If they were my size, I'd consider keeping them. I might be 50, but I like some wackadoodle things. Next, I got some Lucky Brand open booties. How cute are these? Now, this is a brand I don't always buy anymore. It is a bolo if you get it at the right price. It will always sell, but it's not like a high resale. But certain ones are more expensive. These are more expensive. These will sell $60. Some will just sell for $20. They're in almost perfect condition. They're size 10. Almost perfect condition. So if you're a size 10, look at that detail. Isn't it pretty? I'm really picky on my Lucky Brand because I paid $10 for these. There's certain things like these thrift stores, you know, the prices. And shoes is one. Okay, last bag, and I do have another pair of boots I wanted to show you, see if you know anything about. And, oh, they're the top ones. So funny, when I picked them up, they were all three next to each other. So, sorry. Um, I looked these up, amazing also. These are from M Gear. And again, it's like an outdoor. These are all leather. These ones, black hiking boot. It has the rubber soles. They're from Mountain Gear. M Gear is mountain. They're a women's size six. M Gear hiking all leather boots. And they were $5. Again, these had a really, really great resale value. Sorry, just putting the laces in because if I leave them out, I'm scared my puppy will go do something and eat it. Oh, guys, can I tell you a story? I've never, ever done this before. Someone bought some sweatpants for me. I mean sweatpants. Um, Sorry. Overalls for me. And I sent them the Dickies overalls I had. And it's so funny because I kept remembering. I'm like, I don't remember selling these sweatpants, but I did. I did. I was... I wound up sending them Dickies overalls, not sweatpants, overalls. They bought London overalls for me. So I've never done this before. So it was my mistake. I, you know, I paid to have um, Poshmark sent them a label to send it back to me. And um, I went to pull out the other ones, the right ones to send them, but my puppy ate the whole, you know, where it hooks on. She ate it. I was so embarrassed. It's like the dog ate my homework. I've never had something like that happen. So I'm like, just keep the Dickies overalls. I'm sorry for your trouble. And I reimbursed them. So they got a free pair of Dickie overalls. They were a lot bigger than the other ones, but maybe they could sell them or give them away or wear them big. And it was my mistake. So they wound up getting a really nice pair of overalls. And I was a little embarrassed, but there's the only, there's like a little wear there at the front, a little bit of dirt. You know what I'll do? Through the wash, they go. Okay. Yeah. I know these are poopy brown, but they're in perfect condition and they were really interesting. These are leather dance goes, clogs, and they're a good size. They're size 38, um, and they were $10, but they're in perfect condition. And I really liked, I liked this. I don't remember seeing that. I love the smell of leather. Yes, yes, I do. Next, I don't know if my husband or my son are going to keep these, but it just came out on a cart as I was standing there. And you know how that goes. All the best stuff comes out in the cart. Um, believe it or not, I only spent a few hours there today because I was really looking for, for me because I watched too many of Melissa's videos I'll, with her blazers. But let me tell you, this girl is stunning and she looks good in everything. I'm going to leak her channel below if I forget, remind me. So I got a pair of Doc Mortens. They're a size US 12. Might be too big for my husband and son. They were an 11, both of them. They're both skinny, muscular skinny, tall. And they got size 11 feet. Okay, they're brown. I've never seen them like this. Look at these Doc Mortens. They're like that oil slick. It has like a little rub there, who cares? <laughs> Right? 
Look at the bottom, it's just a little dirt, who cares? Doc Martens. Um, and here's this one, size 12. They were $6.50. These are $100 plus for me. They're the industrial ones. So you can wear them to work. And I actually like, like I said, there is definitely somewhere like that in the front. But it looks more like distressing. Yeah, I thought they were really cool. Those are like $100, they're a little heavy. And my last, my last find of the day. I do really well with this brand. Um, I actually sell them. It's the Sperry brand, and I actually liked this in particular because it's like a down coat. And then it has like the wedge heel, and it's like a rain boot. Snow boot, rain boot, Sperry. Doesn't look like there's wear to them. There's some dirt, so obviously there is some wear. Um, I can't believe she sat on this whole time. Sperry. Sperry Topsiders. I sell their boat shoes. Some of their stuff is not a, nice, but these are a woman's size 10, waterproof rubber boot. I don't see them have a name, but how cool are these? These are cool. These are gonna sell. This is um, a style. I saw one similar and they sold for over $60. I didn't see these exact ones. They're gray and since they're so nice and great condition, they'll probably sell for around the same 60, 70 bucks. That was my haul. They always have amazing, now the sun comes out, you see the, the rainbows? I always say that's my cookie dog. But the front door and the sides have panes and it bounces off that wall, it's bouncing back here. But hey, cookie, I know if that's a little creepy, sorry, but that was our King Charles Spaniel who passed away like eight months ago. And whatever, it's a personal thing. But anyway, that's my haul. Tell me what your favorite thing is. Did I get this thing? Okay, I did. Um, and I just wanted to get up quickly because I wanted to give some of this stuff to my son. I wanted to get some of it in the wash. I have to get it away because if I don't start putting this stuff away, um, I'm going to get in trouble for my husband because if this was their mess taking over my house, I'd be freaking out a little. But I have to get this listed. My oldest, my middle daughter is going to start helping me more. Um, and my other daughter, I just like my daughter's best friend, um, helps me and my son's helping me. So I'm really going to start getting this stuff in order and listed. But for the meantime, you know the trail. If you see something, send me a message. I sold so much stuff uh, through my videos. And I have uh, what I sold the past two weeks coming up. Even though I had surgery and whatever, I still sold a nice amount of stuff with the help of my kids. I'll find it and pack it. They take pictures and I list it, which I can do from bed if I don't feel good so it works out good. And um, I really hope you're having a good day because I'm having a good day. I know my voice is still funky and, and whatnot, but I'm feeling good, guys. Look, I still have my little vest on. It was like 51 degrees in New York, so of course it's like, forget the winter coat. But I hope you're well. Let me know what you liked below. I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm going to get better and better, but I appreciate you coming every day. Say hello. Join my channel. Tell everyone to join my channel. And everyone remember to be you. Okay? Ciao, everybody. Till next time. Bye. And you guys, coming up on the 11th, I'm doing a collab um, with Carol. And I'll link her information um, for Valentine's Day. Um, I just sent my stuff out. She just sent her stuff out. So we're planning on uploading the videos on the 11th. So I hope you enjoy that. It should be a lot of fun. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.